Right now at Good Day Orlando, NASA's Ingenuity is getting ready for its first flight over Mars. And joining us live to talk about this historic test is Mars Exploration Program Director Eric I. Anson. Great to see you, Eric. How are you? I'm really excited. Thanks so much for having me this morning. I bet you are. So Sunday is the big day. Tell me a little bit about how you guys have been preparing for this test flight. Yeah, this has been a, a long time in, in the making, but uh, we've uh, done a lot of testing on Earth, and now we're preparing to uh, fly this actually on Mars. Um, as you may be aware, the Martian atmosphere is significantly thinner than that of Earth, about 1% of the density of Earth's atmosphere. Uh, so trying to get the lift is really critical uh, to, in order to be able to uh, have a successful test flight. One of the things I was reading is the location of Ingenuity right now, the temperature. I think it was like, what, 130 degrees uh, below zero? Is that right? And all the different contraptions to try to keep this thing warm? Yeah, at, at night it does get down really cold and uh, to temperatures uh, similar to what, you're, what you had uh, quoted there. Um, but uh, we have heaters on board that we try to keep the, the system warm overnight. We've survived a couple of nights already. Uh, so we're just preparing for the flight on, on Sunday. And then once this thing takes flight, Eric, what are you hoping to see and how long will it take for those images to come back to you? Yeah, so this is, is purely a, a demonstration flight. So what we're trying to do is uh, uh, test the capability of being able to fly in this environment. Um, so uh, our our first test flight is going to be re relatively short, only 30 seconds. So I like to draw an analogy of, of learning to dive into a pool as a kid. You don't go to the high diving board uh, right away. You start at the side of the pool and you work your way up. Uh, very similar with uh, Ingenuity, we're going to hover for about 30 seconds, about 10 uh, feet above the surface. And then with each subsequent flight, try to go a little bit further um, or, or higher, um, and we're hoping to get all of our data back from this initial flight um, early Monday morning uh, to be able to share with the world. And then what's the long-term goal of Ingenuity? What are you guys looking for by having this thing take flight? So if you think about our rover program, back in 1997, uh, the uh, Sojourner mission was the first demonstration of, of um, moving around on the surface of Mars. Um, so similar with Ingenuity, what we're looking to do is demonstrate this capability and then see how we can use it in the future as we continue to progress the technology. Um, so be able to go farther, um, go higher, um, but perhaps it can be used to do some science experiments uh, or we can use it for reconnaissance. So whether it's future robotic or human missions, uh, it can go a lot further in a short period of time, scout out an area and then come back and land. What have been maybe some of the most surprising things that you guys have learned since since this uh, Mars rover uh, project started? Just uh, gosh, it's only been a few weeks. Yeah. So I, the the main thing we've been trying to do is is wake up uh, the, all the different components of of the rover and then prepare. This is actually the first uh, uh, real. Uh, activity that's happening on on the mission is uh, uh, deploying uh, Ingenuity and getting it ready for it, its test flight. And Perseverance is actually going to be supporting uh, this this flight. It's going to be at a vantage point not too far away uh, to be able to uh, watch the uh, the uh, takeoff, and hopefully we'll be able to get some some images and, and video from that. Uh, and then once th these um, test flights are over. Uh, Perseverance will continue on to its uh, primary science mission. Well, you guys have the coolest jobs, I think, on this planet. So uh, kudos for that. Eric Ianson, thank you so much for taking the time to tell us all about uh, the big flight on Sunday. We'll be looking forward to hearing the results. Thank you. Thank you.